Now we are discussing about 4.4.6 operational control. Under this operational control, you have to make documented procedure. And in this procedures cover the following things. First, planning and control of functions. So the activities or processes which affect your environment significantly establish the controls for them and document such things. Second thing is cover maintenance of your activities, your equipments. So checkpoints for the preventive maintenance of your process equipment as well as utility equipment and ensure that it is periodically carried out to establish the control conditions of your equipment. Third thing is operational criteria for monitoring. So all such critical processes including your affluent treatment plant or waste disposal mechanism for all such areas you identify the control limits for operating such equipment or the work area. The procedure also should cover your communication mechanisms of environment management systems to your suppliers and subcontractors as a part of operational control. So they also follow the same mechanism. For example, your civil contractors or your transporters. Classic example is they are informed to have their vehicles PUC control. So few examples of operational control measures are shown in this slide. Hazard elimination or reduction. Engineering process design control. For example, if your DG set is having more noise, then you can have the silencer provided as a part of design change of your machine. Your process control device, circuit breakers or the power saver equipment, administrative controls like housekeeping, follow up as well as checklist for housekeeping, providing personal, uh, personal protective equipment to the employees like earplug, fire and safety control equipments, work permits and inspection mechanism and management of your outsource labor has to be established. So first thing for you is to identify your potential emergency situations. For example, flood, fire, earthquake, tornado, etc. Once you have identified your emergency situation, then you should have the off-site and on-site emergency plan. Then you have to prevent or mitigate associated impacts because of this emergency preparedness. Then you have to conduct the MOOC drill and record the action plan so that such situations will happen then how your team will react to the situation. Many people follow the practices to learn from their failures. Means they have the mechanism to list down the learning gained from the mock drill or from such emergency preparedness and accordingly they change their upside onside emergency plan. You should have the medical facilities as well as damage control measures. Also, regularly you have to review